knocks down the first bucket of the game on the other side. Jaden Springer loses it for a second, but it doesn't matter, gets it to go. Take nice. away, Charlie Brown Jr. slamming it down for two. The kids being able to be out here and watch this game and some dunks as well. McClung from way downtown, knocking it down. So a lot more fresh legs, James. Hall will try it yet again, and this time it goes through for the Texas Legends, and they have their first lead. The Legends pushing the pace. Jackson, a big time of three. Going strong, he's so strong. He can take the contact of others. He'll get himself to the foul line. Riller. Rebound by Jackson, who puts it through. He now has 10. Brings the Coats within seven under nine left to go before the halftime break. Oh, what a great delivery from James. And a better finish from Moore. A mismatch here, James and McClung, cross-court pass. Hardy takes a dribble, the shot up, and it is good. And the Legends defense was already set. Jackson, yet again, nothing but net. James, this time gonna take it himself, comes up short. Good D by Justin Smith. Length of the floor, Jaden Springer plus the foul. We'll head to the line for the old-fashioned three-point play. Have the Legends defense on their heels. So that's three consecutive stops, different ways. Two offensive fouls, this off the board, and converting. He had five assists on Tuesday. He has three already here in the first half. And again, you just see how the Legends defense is collapsing on people who are trying to get to the paint. Lewis King left alone and a much needed bucket for King. Trying to get in some rhythm to start out the second half of action. Jackson left alone and you cannot do that. Charlie Brown Jr. tough bucket. Lead back up to a seven for the visitors. Foster Jr., tough bucket, playing bully ball down low. Hardy gets that one to fall. Mack is not the reason they're seven of 25. He's made five of six from three. Springer, beautiful move, gets brought down. Whistles are silent. We head the other way, Ledoux getting it to go. McClung, other side. Making sure he gets back, James down low, the mismatch, and James is having himself a fourth quarter in the paint. Layup at the other end. Key driving into the lane through everybody and gets the two. Flirting with his season high, which is 31. Ledoux driving in, and they're going to call a block on Key. Big time miss. Blue Coats looking to capitalize. McClung inside, gets it to go. Mac McClung take over time. He and Springer need to be the go to guys right now. Kick out to Hardy. Gets the three to go. Claps in the face of Charlie Brown. The 19th made three ties the season high for Texas which they set the other night against this same Blue Coats team. McClung with the answer. How about that? Well, certainly in this second half, offensive rebounding has been huge. And so has Mac McClung. Down by one with 137 left to go. Justin Jackson has been quieted in this fourth quarter. 
Jackson. Not any more. So both teams still with one timeout left. 32 seconds left to go. Springer with the rock, driving in. I don't know if Moore got a piece on that, but it looked like he might have. Take it away. McClung with the rock. Driving in. Springer ties the ball game up with 4.5 seconds left to go. Goes to Moore. Whistles are silent, and they're going to call a double dribble. So he was trying to keep his heels going from backcourt. Double yeah. dribble is called. <laughs> Such a pivotal part of his blue coat squad. Jackson. Again, you just got to get stops. Hardy from way downtown knocks it down. Hall. James, under 10 on the shot clock. Hardy driving in. They're going to call a block on McClung. Oh, my. That's going to be an opportunity, a three-point play. They want Springer. Springer goes up, doesn't connect, put back, no. Up ahead to Moore, an advantage. Nobody back, and the slam will win the game. My, oh, my. Taze Moore, the left-hand jam, and that will reach the target score for the Texas Legends.